Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or in a video response. And who knows, maybe your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Stitch, the 626th Experiment, and X-Men's Beast. It's not easy being blue, but somehow these two furry fighters found a place that they could fit in. But only one can win in a battle to the death. This is Universes. In a far-off galaxy, an idiot scientist, er, evil genius, named Jumba Jukiba produced a series of dangerous experiments. He got quite a few made before being captured, with his most recent creation being Experiment 626. After his trial where he was found guilty and put in prison, Experiment 626 had escaped from his own containment cell and stole a ship to a planet called Earth. Once he arrived, he had come across a very small family of two sisters who adopted him, giving him his very first real home and his new name, Stitch. However, he didn't come alone. Jumbo was after him, trying to regain his own freedom for Stitch's capture. Avoiding him would have been easy, but unfortunately Stitch had a new cover as a house pet that he needed to keep up. Luckily, as some kind of freaky genetic alien experiment, Stitch had all the right tools he needed to pull off this little facade he had going on. For starters is his appearance. He needed to make himself look somewhat like an Earth Dog so Lilo and Nani would adopt him. Luckily, Stitch had the ability to do this as he can extend and retract extra limbs into his body. This is likely to assist in Stitch's incredible mobility where he can roll around in a ball or climb just about any surface with his incredibly sharp claws. That's right, Stitch may look small, but he's one of the toughest little tanks I've ever seen. He's bulletproof, fireproof, and built to be completely indestructible. He can think faster than a supercomputer, has enhanced sight, hearing, and senses of smell, and he can lift up to 3,000 times his own weight. Thanks to the fact that he can grow more limbs, Stitch is also capable of holding four plasma pistols at once, and he's become a very skilled pilot despite his first crash landing experience. However, Stitch isn't flawless. His molecular density is too great, meaning he can't float in water even if he knew how to swim. He's just too heavy. He's also very sensitive to bright flashes since his vision is so great. Despite these weaknesses though, Stitch is still an insane powerhouse and an incredibly tough tank. Well, first let's take a look at his 3000 times his own weight strength. The funny thing is, is that his weakness of being too dense for water makes him stronger. Stitch's size is comparable to Lilo, a six-year-old girl whose weight should average out at about 50 pounds. In order for Stitch to be too dense for water at this size, he must weigh at least 120 pounds, meaning he can lift 360,000 pounds, or 180 tons. That's strong enough to lift over five full cement trucks. But his striking strength is even more impressive than that, as Stitch has been able to defeat fellow aliens that can create earthquakes at multi-city block levels of power. He can even scale to aliens who have been able to cover the entire island with their power. Stitch is also tough enough to survive his house exploding, getting squashed completely, and a gasoline explosion inside of a volcano. All these with some high hypersonic plasma dodging feats to round them all out makes him one dangerous critter. But let's see if he's enough of a beast to compare with Marvel's genius mutant. You can spit acid on him if you want to. In a world of mutants, one of the most deadly ones out there is simply called the Beast. Or you could just call him... Hank. Grrr. The mighty monstrous... Hank. From the start of his life, it was pretty clear that he was different. He was born with large hands and feet, and as he aged, he only grew larger. However, he was mostly able to disguise his mutation by hiding it in plain sight. He simply became a football star at his school to explain his large size. Pretty smart if you ask me. Which is fitting, because Hank was also gifted with superhuman smarts. Unfortunately though, he couldn't keep this hidden forever, and he was kicked out of school once they discovered his mutation. It wasn't long though before he was picked up by the X-Men and no longer had to be ashamed of his mutation, even after turning himself more beastly by accident. While that may have been bad for his social life, this new and more furry form granted Beast with several neat powers. One of them was an incredible healing factor. However, after becoming Blue Beast, it did reduce the effectiveness of this healing factor by a lot, but it is still present. He was also given superhuman speed, strength, and agility, and he even gained some enhanced instincts due to his mutation being very animal-like. This also grants him advanced dexterity. He's able to write with both hands at once and can even tie knots with his feet. 
He can resist harsh elements like poison, freezing cold temperatures, and even mind control. And despite his appearance, he's also a literal walking chick magnet, as he can manipulate and enhance the pheromones in his own body to attract mates. That's very... interesting. Animals are weird. More of his animal-like traits include his incredibly sharp claws and fangs, which he uses in combat. While Beast is a very skilled, powerful, and capable fighter, he does prefer to hang back for plotting strategies, but he will resort to brute force if he has to. This also reveals a weakness, though, as Beast will sometimes give in to his animal instincts, going into a blind rage. And like Stitch, his enhanced senses are also sensitive and exploitable, but also like Stitch, he's still a dangerous fighter despite these weaknesses. Beast's enhanced physical strength has reportedly allowed him to lift up to 10 tons, including boats and even police cars. However, he has displayed feats of strength that are far higher than that, like when he was able to slightly lift and move a solid gold tree around 60 tons. In striking strength, he has also overpowered Wolverine a couple times, another mutant who has been able to defeat and combat several foes that reach up to multi-city block levels of power. Beast himself can also create many earthquakes by striking the ground, and he's capable of ripping tanks to shreds. Beast can also survive hits from all these forces as well, or even the vacuum of space. When it comes to speed, Beast has scaling from other Marvel heroes around his power reaching massively hypersonic levels. Beast has even proved this to be consistent by dodging close-range lightning-based attacks himself. All of his animal-like strengths combined with his powerful mind can make him one deadly force. But can he destroy the indestructible Stitch? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Down, you freak! You lousy mutant! You cannot reason with closed minds. Next time you know first is Stitch first the Beast. For X Men like the Beast, he is really ashamed to lose to someone like Stitch. First is physically, Stitch is way stronger, way faster, and way durable than the Beast. Beast is multi city block level to city level at best, and massively hypersonic speeds be able to keep up with someone who react to nanoseconds and even react to a nanoseconds himself. But Stitch. He is strong enough to lift and throw well, lift something 3000 times his own weight and even stronger than some experiments, that is able to create country level attacks. In fact, Stitch wants to survive an explosion that blow one third of a planet, and is completely fine afterwards. As for speed, Stitch is fast enough to pilot ships that can move faster than light at itself. Well, also. Stitch is way too unpredictable for Beast to even handle. Beast may be more skills, more experience, and more intelligence, but even that, he's never faced a foe that is like Stitch, way too unpredictable, crawling, or crawling around, and even do something crazy things that the Beast will never even think about it. Like crawling into his body like a butt and keep tear, keep scratching him to death, something like that. Well, also, Stitch ha only one has a weapon that is actually more effective in the battle. The Beast carries the glasses and a calculator. What does it mean for battle? Stitch carries at least four laser firearms, one in each hand, and one of them is already strong enough to blow down metal, and even shoot them next to capture foes. This is just only laser arms. Stitch has also other melee weapons that kill him in the fight, but just let's not just not talk about it. So the winner I would say is Stitch. And the results are in. The winner is. Stitch! You know, usually I have something to say before I explain the results, but I don't have one this time, so I'll just hum the X-Men theme song even though Stitch won. Fuck!
First, we'll start with the actual numbers. You probably remember their lifting strengths with Beast being able to lift a 60 ton tree, and of course Stitch can lift 3000 times his own weight, which came out to 180 tons, exactly 3 times stronger than Beast. That distance is nothing compared to their attack potency though. Both Stitch and Beast can scale the foes who generate multi-city block levels of power, but only Stitch can also scale to someone who can generate enough kinetic energy to cover an entire island with a blizzard. Beast does have one physical advantage though, he's a lot faster than Stitch, being able to dodge lightning based attacks while Stitch only has high hypersonic reactions from being able to dodge close range plasma. But that huge speed advantage won't help Beast in the slightest, it'll be like a cheetah versus an actual tank. The cheetah may be way faster but there's no way it's going to leave any majorly damaging scratches on the tank. When you remember the kind of things Stitch has survived you'll see why. Stitch has survived entire buildings exploding with him inside, and volcanic gasoline explosions without a single scratch. Stitch has endured far more than the Beast has, and although Beast has a healing factor, it isn't strong or fast enough to keep up with what Stitch can dish out. There is one more advantage though that people think Beast has, but he actually doesn't. That would be his intelligence. Don't get me wrong, Beast is most absolutely a gifted scholar, but if you remember, Stitch is able to think and react faster than a supercomputer. And these are supercomputers by alien standards who already have super advanced technology. A supercomputer to them is probably something we couldn't even comprehend yet. Stitch's incredible processing speed would also allow him to find out Beast's weakness way faster than Beast could figure out his. Beast may be faster, but he's not going to be able to run away forever, and he wouldn't be able to put a scratch on Stitch by the time he gets caught. The winner is... Stitch. Yes, please. Stitch has found one place he truly belongs on Earth with Lilo. Get ready for the next battle.